Hello and welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are introducing our new set, Loads of Fun, and its coordinating dies. This set is pretty much the only fun way to do laundry, so let's go ahead and stamp it out. We have, of course, the washing machine, and then we have all of the clothes to go inside the washing machine. So this great little t-shirt, a pair of briefs there, some socks, and a solid sock too. We have the accessories to go around the washing machine with the suds and the dryer sheets, and of course, a hamper full of dirty clothes. We have bubbles for the laundry machine too. And then we have a bunch of styles of smiley faces that you can add to all of these different images. We have some great sentiments. We have, I would be lost without you. I am missing you. And then we have, hope your birthday is, and loads of fun in a different style of font. And you can st stamp these stacked or straight across. And then here we have, we have loads of fun together, which you could stamp straight across or also stacked, just like the previous sentiment. So here's a look at that, we have loads of fun together. We also have two different sizes of exclamation points for the two different phrases. So here's our little teeny baby one and the big one too. Now it's time to start coloring in these images and I am using my Copic markers to color them in. And here you can see that I'm adding my lightest marker all around the areas where I want there to be some shading. And now I'm adding my medium marker and then blending it out with my light. Now, BG11 and BG13 are two of my favorite markers, but I have difficulty blending them sometimes. So I really like to touch the light marker to the dark marker. I pick up a little bit of that dark marker's ink, and it gives me a medium shade that helps me blend these two together. So you can see now by touching those in the middle, it's making that medium shade and really making the blend look much better on the washing machine. I really have to do it for this one because this is a very big image to color. So it does take a while, uh, but it's really fun because you get to practice techniques like this little tip to tip. So I had so much fun coloring this machine in. So there I go, still touching them together. And then now I'm gonna color in all of the buttons. I really like using the toner grays for these. I feel like it kind of looks like a metal button. Now using a darker toner gray there for that strip. And then I'm going to go around the edges of the washing machine. You're going to see I'm going to keep blending out. So I'm going to put my darkest on those edges and then continue to blend out towards the parts that I left white. And that gives it, I think, a nice rounded look. These are my favorite markers for creating clothes that looks a little dirty and needs to be washed. Um, I think it just gives it kind of a little bit of that dingy sock look, uh, which looks really cool. And blending it out with the colorless blender gives it some white in the middle, which is really nice too. You can see on the pair of briefs there, I just left those plain white. So I wanted to show you kind of the dirty version versus, versus the white version. And now I'm gonna use some similar colors to the washing machine, but just a little bit darker to color this suds in and to color in this cute little hamper. And funny enough, my hamper is this exact color. So I thought it would be cool. And now I just wish I had a washing machine that was turquoise too. <laughs> so I'm just blending those markers out again just like I did before, touching tip to tip and blending those well. And now I'm gonna add in some yellows and some reds, which is gonna go with one of my card designs today, but I really like the yellow, red, and teal combo. I think it's pretty cool. And so I'm just doing some simple shading here. You can see I'm just adding that W0 and then blending it out, and then I'm adding a little bit more of the W1 to make it look a little bit kind of dingier. And then now these are all of the colored images for this set. This set has coordinating dies and you can bend them apart at those tabs or use your wire snips to snip them all out and kind of clean up those little edges. And then you can take your dies and line them up with your stamped images. So I like to line them up and use some post-it note tape to hold them in place. It's really nice low tack tape. And once I have all of my dies in place, now I can go ahead and put it through my die cut machine. And then my favorite part is taking it right out of that die and just seeing how cool it looks all cut out. Now I love all of these little pieces and here you can see how you can layer them in different ways and create cute and fun scenes with this washing machine. Now it's time to start creating a card with these fun images. So I'm just scoring a card base here and I am going to cover it with some of the new mermaid cardstock. That color really goes well with that BG11, BG13 washing machine. 
These are our two new paper collections, Perfectly Plaid and Let's Polka in the Meadow. So I'm going to choose some papers from both because these collections go really well together. So you can see that fun ivy paper from Perfectly Plaid goes with so many of the colors in Let's Polka in the Meadow. So I love mixing and matching these. But I thought this black with that blue and green plaid was so striking. So I'm going to grab a black polka dot to go along with it. And now I can start using my dies to die cut them. This is the largest of the large four bar stitch rectangles. So I've cut out a stitch rectangle of the plaid and now just part of a stitch rectangle of the polka dot because I don't need such a big piece. I'm using the smallest of the stitch scallop border dies to create this cute little scallop and I am going to trim a thin little piece and I'm going to hold it in place with post-it note tape so that it doesn't move around in my trimmer so that I can trim this thin tiny little scallop border. Now this black licorice cardstock was just too black for my card. So I'm taking a little finger dauber and some Yeti ink, which is a white pigment ink, and running it along this area and then smearing it with my fingers. And you're going to see when I compare them how it's kind of created more of a charcoal color instead of a black. So it's kind of a cool way to get more out of your cardstock by rubbing white pigment ink on it and changing the color slightly. So now I'm going to layer that fun polka dotted piece and my little scallop border to just kind of give it a nice finishing edge. And then I can just trim off any of that excess. Next up, I needed to color a few more of the cute images from this set. So I'm coloring in some socks just like I did before with those W zeros and now a little red stripe. And I colored some extra bubbles too. And I'm attaching all of these with foam adhesive. I really love the shadow that it gives. It makes it look really dynamic, like they might be moving around in the washer. Here I have a banner from the new Everyday Sentiment banners. I'm going to die cut it from some white cardstock. And then I'm going to line my sentiment on it with my Misty tool and double stamp it with black so that it's nice and bold. I can add that sentiment panel on with some foam tape and then add my washing machine on with some foam tape too. And then more foam tape on the back of this panel, which I'm going to add to my card base that gives me a nice little border around it with some mermaid cardstock. And here is my finished card. I just love how it turned out. And I love that if I change the pattern papers and the color of the washing machine, I could get lots of different looks out of the same card design. Next, I wanted to show you kind of a faster way to color in the machine. So doing the shading on the washing machine really did take a long time. So this time, all I am doing is just coloring it in with one marker. And you'll see that it actually still looks really great and really dynamic. And it's a quicker way to get the washing machine colored. Now I'm going to use some BG10 to color the inside just so that it looks like there's a lot of suds and water going on in there. And then I can use my die to cut out this washing machine. We size the washing machine to work with the second smallest of the stitch circle frame dies. So it's actually sized perfectly to this die so that you can easily make shakers for the washing machine. So right now I die cut it out of white and I'm coloring it in with that toner two marker uh, so that it'll match my buttons a little bit and kind of look like a nice metal edge around the washing machine. Here I have some fun foam and some stick it adhesive, which is a thin sheet of adhesive. So I'm going to remove that backing paper off of the stick it and lay it onto my foam piece to create a sticker. I'm going to flip the foam piece over and lay one more piece of adhesive. And now here you're going to see that I have a sticker on each side of this piece of foam. So it's perfect for creating a foam piece to make my shaker. So I'm going to layer that same circle frame die, the two inch size one on top of that foam. I'm going to die cut and create my foam frame. So I'll pop out that center piece and now I have a frame that is perfectly sized to fit on top of my washing machine for easy shakers. So here you can see with our two inch circle stackable, I've cut the acetate window frame and with our two inch circle frame die, we've cut the frame and the foam. So these are all going to work together to create our shaker. So now we can take our pieces and start to layer them together. So I'm going to peel off that little backing that we added to the foam there to create the sticker and put that sticker right on to the washing machine. Then I'm going to take my anti-static tool and make sure to go around all of the inside edges to make sure there's no extra stickiness left over from that adhesive. So I'm just doing that really, really well. And that's to make sure that the sequins don't stick to the sides of this little foam piece. Now once that is all done, I can start to add in all my little pieces. So I'm adding a little white sequin mix here and then some star glitter 
both in blue and white so that it kind of looks like soap and suds in there. So once I'm happy with how my sequins are looking, I can peel off the top layer of the adhesive on the foam and I can lay my piece of acetate on top cut with my two inch circle. And so you'll see there that that has now created a perfect window. Now I can take my frame that I colored with Copic markers earlier and lay that on top to give it a nice finished edge. And you can see now that we have created a cute little shaker and the best part is getting to actually finally shake it. I just love how it turned out. Now here I have some papers from the new Let's Poke on the Meadow collection and I've used my largest stitched rectangle frame die to cut the baby skunk polka and then here I'm trimming a piece of the dewdrop line dance. I'm going to stamp the hope your birthday is loads of fun sentiment across that piece. And now I'm just going to score a standard size card which is four and a quarter by five and a half card base and I can lay that baby skunk polka piece that's been cut with the stitch rectangle on top and lay this great little stripe there on the bottom. And now all I have to do is just layer all of my pieces with foam tape. So I've created this fun little scene with those accessory images and now we have this great little shaker card that would make anybody's birthday so much fun. Now this card is another remake of one of Shari's cards which I just adored. I'm so thankful for Shari for letting me make this design and so I had to add some glitter there with the Wink of Stella pen because Shari always adds glitter. And then to finish the card off I just added a little black strip at the bottom. I thought it gave it a nice finishing edge and here is the finished card which I cannot wait to send to someone for their birthday. Now that I've shown you two more complicated cards I wanted to show you how to make an easy quick card with this set. So I am using the solid sock to stamp a bunch of socks here into the washing machine just to add some color to it. And instead of coloring the washing machine in, I'm going to leave it white because you know what? Most washing machines are white. And so all I'm doing is coloring in with a gray marker along all of those edges just to add a little bit of something, but I'm going to keep the washing machine white and die cut it this way. Now because my washing machine is white, I want a really colorful background. So here I'm cutting all of the pieces for my four bar size card so that I can have a nice colorful background for my white washing machine to pop off of. So here I have some of the Nadia Perfectly Plaid paper, a piece of guava cardstock, and some mermaid cardstock. I'm going to stamp the Hope Your Birthday is Loads of Fun onto the mermaid cardstock piece and then layer the Nadia paper which is just so beautiful and bright, and that cardstock piece over. And then for a finishing edge, just a little easy strip, quarter inch strip of some guava cardstock. Now I can add my easy machine here with some foam dots, and then add two little socks with foam dots into the middle. And you'll see this card is so quick, you could make 10 of these all at once really quickly, and it would turn out so nice, and you could have lots of birthday cards for your stash this way. So here is a look at the three cards that we made today. I love that you can get so many looks out of this set. You can do this kind of card here, a much more simpler version, or a full-on shaker card, which is so much fun to do too. So there's so many options for this set, and I can't wait to see how you guys play around with it. So this is loads of fun. I love this stamp set so much and it's got great coordinating dies to go along with it. And I love that you can make cards from super simple to super complicated shaker cards with this set. There's also a lot of other images that could fit inside this washer, including the new little baby clothes from our new little bundle set. So there's so much fun that you can have with it. I cannot wait to see what kind of cool creative things you guys come up with. So make sure to share them with us. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you have an absolutely amazing day. Bye.